Well, I think traditionally uh, the whole erotic culture of images, photos and film has always been dominated by men. Men have been behind the camera and women in front and I think it's a real shame to leave the creation of erotic images only in male hands. As an empowered woman, as an artist and a feminist, I think, why should I leave the creation of erotic images only in male hands? Mm -hmm. That means one language, the visual language, which is so important, mm -hmm. is completely left in the hands of men. And I'm so bored with being surrounded by images that men have done. The difference between mainstream porn and my films is pretty much everything. <laughs> I don't work with uh, porn stars. I work with real people. So the chemistry between the lovers is real. My focus is on female pleasure. That's very, very important to me. Mainstream porn is only about the guy the size of his penis and you always see the ejaculation usually all over the woman which many women don't like I want to show the women having orgasms and the women being pleasured by the men and treated well so I show orgasms in different ways I show them in people's faces or maybe the men, the bum contracts or the whole body shivers that's how I show it more like the suggestions not the real well it is the real thing they have an orgasm but I don't need the ejaculation to show that they have an orgasm I can show it differently I've never casted my performers naked I don't see what their cock looks really? like or the woman's pussy I don't care I care about what's here and what's here yeah. will there be good lovers will they be able to pleasure each other you know what I mean that's what it's about I have an idea for a scene mm. sometimes the performers have the idea for the scene and we think we think together I find the locations we decide what they wear and what toys they might use together mm. but then what happens sexually is their choice I'm bringing the two worlds together the world of art and the world of porn um, to just show erotic art can be explicit if women can even just watch one scene and go oh I should maybe try that that that's makes me so happy when I get an email from someone and they say, oh, I never thought about, you know, trying mm. a, a threesome or doing it underwater or whatever, and I did it and it was fantastic and I had a great orgasm, mm. then I'm happy. <laughs> In the 80s when I was part of the anti poor movement, I was very angry and I think it was enough for me to be against something. Now I want to be for something. Mm. I want to be positive. I haven't got time to fight the shit porn mm -hmm. anymore. I can't change it. I can't stop it. Mm -hmm. But I can create alternatives mm -hmm. and we have a lot of catching up to do as women because we're always in front of the camera looking pretty. We need to get behind the camera and tell the men what to do or yeah. make the images we want. It's a really big step towards true sexual equality that women have their own visuals. It's not just a small thing that women finally make their own visual culture. It's going to have huge repercussions on society. It's going to make women a lot stronger and it's going to change the way they feel about themselves. It's going to change the way men see us and think about us. So it's long overdue and it's very important.